So I've got this solution of baking soda and water and I'm going to wet the piece of wood. This acts as an electrolyte for the electricity to travel across. Okay, so I'm putting my high voltage gloves on. These are rated at 18,000 volts. And welcome to my shop. I'm Rob from Woodsley Summercraft. This video footage was taken quite some time ago, back in 2018. Um, it was for a piece that I turned and uh, it was a gift for a charity event for my son Brandon. And a friend of ours won it. It was a tree with some gift cards attached to it. So here what I'm doing is doing the Lichtenberg fractal burning on the base of it to resemble roots. So this is 12,000 volts at 35 milliamps. And uh, what I didn't mention is that I'm an electrician and I have been since 1988. So I have a lot of respect for electricity. I've taken every safety precaution that I possibly can so I don't get injured. This is definitely something that you want to take seriously because people have been hurt doing this kind of a kind of a thing, especially with homemade units that people have been making. I don't recommend you do that. The Conestoga Works machine is very safe machine. It's as safe as it can be anyway. You get some really nice results. As you can see the voltage tracks across the surface of the wood burning as it goes and branching out until it reaches the other side and then if you hold it at that point it will burn deeper and deeper in that one spot. kind of cool to watch it as it burns. Very relaxing. You want a fan because it does create some smoke. If you can do it outside do that. But just be safe. It's a very effective way of embellishing a piece, whether it's a bowl or a table, flat work, anything. But ideally you want a very tight grain wood like maple. Oak doesn't really uh, take well to this because the, uh, the burn will tend to track along the straight grain, whereas this goes in every different direction as you can see. It's something I don't often think to to do. I should use it more often. And as you can see there, it was dry so it wasn't tracking. So here what I'm doing is now that I'm satisfied with the finished result, I'm washing off the excess carbon and then in a moment you'll see the end result. So thanks for watching. This is just a short little video of the Lichtenberg fractal burning. So be safe in your workshop. Take care.